well um, in the future. So welcome. We are going to be getting started. Today we have Mubarak Hussein. Mubarak, are you there? Okay. Okay, Mubarak, we are excited to hear from you. Mubarak has uh, a very beautiful story of things he learned um, in the past few days uh, while he was working with different other colleagues in different projects they were working on. And he's going just to be sharing us more about his learnings and why he thinks uh, the topic he chose today really matters to all of us during this time. So welcome Mubarak, the floor is yours. We are excited to learn from you today. Hello everyone, can you hear me? Fine. Let me share you my screen. Are you seeing my screen? Okay. So, uh, the today's session is called Ideas Was uh, Spreading. Uh, the title I choose for you is The Forces of 21st Century. And uh, is there anyone can tell me about what are the forces? Can you use the chat? I think uh, most of the academy trainers are uh, escorting students, so they don't know about C, I guess. Okay, let me continue if there is no one. Okay, good. The forces are critical thinking, communication, collaboration, and uh, creativity. And uh, I'm going to show you about uh, this concept uh, while I was on. Uh, some community or group of, group of people. So uh, why we need to know about these forces? Uh, to be honest, I heard of them recently, like two months or uh, two months ago, and I have a chance to be part of a small community. That community is uh, formed. Uh, like, uh, let me give you an example. Uh, the community is uh, formed from 10 academy trainers and uh, staff members uh, to make 10 academy community to able to have uh, a big community of 10 academy like uh, fellows and students and staff that holds all of the community so when uh, i'm part of uh, that community, uh, I have a chance to exercise these forces uh, through it. And also, when I was attending uh, an event, how you can secure a job, uh, the trainee he mentioned that uh, when we do an interview today, we don't uh, do it individually. We make it in a group. Uh, and uh, he mentioned that uh, we don't really need your solution for the program. What we want to see is who is leading the session, who is the leader, uh, who is actively participating. So uh, indirectly, they need to see you, uh, uh, these forces skills us uh, when they are performing an interview. So uh, knowing about them and exercising them uh, uh, make us successful and uh, powerful in our area so that is why i choose uh, 
for you to discuss about these forces. And uh, let's see about critical thinking. Uh, critical thinking uh, involves a focused, careful analysis aimed at enhancing understanding. This is a definition given by someone, and uh, they most of uh, mostly uh, associate it with left brain activity. And uh, I mentioned here some key abilities uh, as a bullet point when I uh, exercise uh, this. Uh, so let me share you about what we do when we gather. Uh, when we gather, we have roles. We all have roles uh, and uh, some guiding principle. The guiding principle uh, is prepared by some group of people uh, at COVID time, and they call it Matushama uh, in Amharic, and it is uh, the meaning is 100 uh, candles directly when I translate it. So uh, at that document, there is uh, some problem uh, solving methodologies like the crazy eight, uh, brainstorming, mind working, and uh, a lot of problem known problem solving methodologies. Uh, and uh, there is also a role for the participants. One of us maybe uh, become Ras, uh, one of us uh, become uh, the Alchemy, one of us become the Timekeeper, and one of us become uh, the Sketcher. So when we uh, know our roles, after knowing our roles, we just go to the station. So when we go to the station, uh, the there is a role called the seeker so the seeker is probably uh who chooses the problem for our session so uh we will uh, be introduced to the problem so uh, as i mentioned here one of us introduced the problem so uh, after knowing the problem the rush will lead uh, the session so the, uh, we start to analyze the problem and the timekeeper give us maybe like five minutes for analyzing the problem. So we analyze it uh, uh, and evaluate it uh, and give a reason for ideas like why, how we solve it, that problem. Uh, and by the, uh, alchem the alchemist will provide us the problem solving methodology so he if he chooses the crazy eight we all follow the crazy eight principle to solve the problem so by using that problem solving me mechanism we try to solve the uh, problems so after the time is finished we communicate each other uh, so these are the points we uh, exercise them while we are on the session and when we, it comes to the creative thinking uh, it is exploring uh, uncovered possibilities, and it is mostly they uh, associate it with the right uh, brain. So, uh, when it comes to our case, how we exercise it, uh, we imagine creative ways to solve that problem. We just create our own ways to solve that problem. So, we ideate we have to ideate like uh, sometimes we have to have 10 ideas how to solve it uh, maybe five ideas so we try to come up with 10 ideas uh, or five ideas to solve that problem uh, and finally after uh, we collect 10 ideas we have to combine them uh, probably if we have uh, told to come up with 10 ideas uh, once we have finished with the 10 ideas, uh, we run it again and to come up and combine ideas from others and us uh, and uh, make it five, then we make it two. And uh, finally, we collaborate to choose uh, from the ideas. Uh, and we have uh, finally an innovative solution for our, our problem. Uh, and. Uh, Let's go to the communicating, the communication part. So communication is uh, actually 
transforming information and ideas between uh, groups. So while we are doing uh, the session, we are going to uh, share our ideas and work. So uh, uh, as I told you, we have the RAS, so the RAS guide us uh, the conversation. Uh, sometimes we, uh, we choose our medium to communicate. Uh, if we have to do it uh, graphically, we have uh, we all have to draw uh, and we have to write. Sometimes we write, so choosing your medium to communicate uh, is mandatory. So uh, we will choose our medium of communication. So after choosing it, we uh, do following it. Uh, so after that, we explain clearly what uh, we try to uh, put it in graphically or written uh, and we have uh, to have them see it we sh we have a telegram group so after sharing on a telegram group everyone can see our drawing so we explain it what we mean by each uh, drawing is so uh, the other participants the other participants uh, actively listening us uh, what we mean by it uh, and they uh, take some notes because uh, they they want our ideas to merge with them. Uh, they do this, and every member have an opportunity to present their ideas. Uh, everyone present his ideas, and uh, we collect ideas together. So, and we have a sketcher. We the sketcher uh, role is uh, since the beginning of the session up to the end he have to draw everything uh, graphically because uh, what graphical represent uh, what we choose uh, mostly graphical uh, representation because our mind uh, uh, is good at remembering things uh, graphically rather than speaking or uh, writing so uh, having this uh, let's go to the collaborating section so uh, collaboration is kind of who, who, what we make it when we communicate uh, so collaboration is working together to achieve a shared goal through open communication uh, so while we collaborate uh, we do this key uh, key points uh, we follow the leader we have like uh, we, if we don't follow our leader, uh, there will be a miscommunication and uh, we don't ev even use our time effectively. So since we have all roles, we respect everyone's role. Mm, and uh, since it is a teamwork, we support each other, like uh, how to ideate if I have something to share, like. Uh, I'm watching from this perspective, you can see it like this uh, and blah, blah, we do this. Uh, so since we are uh, a group of people, there may be uh, conflict. So uh, while we are collaborating, we are also exercising conflict resolutions uh, and we are increasing our decision making ability. Like uh, because we are hearing uh, from different people in the different uh, perspective so uh, we decide we are able to develop our decision making skills uh, there is also uh, we are given paper so using that paper wisely and uh, uh, effective time management uh, so while we are collaborating we have to uh, on mind this to like if we have to use our time effectively uh, this is what I'm presenting you for today. Is there anyone who has a question? Okay, Ms. Rolla.
Yeah. Um, when you say uh, to manage the effectiveness um, in the dispute, uh, the dispute between the teams or the disagreement between the team, how do you think is the best way based on your um, based on your understanding of the 4C and would and how how would you solve it or let me try to rephrase it like this um uh, give me a scenario where uh, with the 4C you can solve a dispute between a team's members uh, that's clear yeah it's clear uh, here we have effective communication between us and uh, we uh, uh, clearly collaborate. Uh, it is. It will be easy uh, to resolve uh, the conflict. So maybe we need another mm -hmm. method just to resolve uh, the conflict. Not, uh, it is not only by using the forces. Th these are just the medium to that. We have another uh, problem-solving mechanisms uh, and conflict resolution mechanisms. Even we may use. Okay, so can you elaborate more on about the mechanisms? Very, uh, I don't remember a specific scenario that uh, we faced. Uh, we may have different ideas, uh, but uh, sometimes we just keep the difference for us and we magnify the shared ideas one uh, and I don't have any scenarios that to be explained for you. Fair enough. Um, okay, um, one more extra. And um, um, I think Bas Baskilani is uh, also trying to ask and give me a suggestion. Um, how do you think is the best way we can solve it inside this this week project? using the first C mechanism, if you have an advice. You don't need to be an expert on it, just how would you do it? That's all I want to know. Okay, like for today's uh, group pro uh, problem, uh, we have more of, we have to use this communication and collaboration. We need to have these two, mostly. Uh, and uh, when it comes to creativity, it will be our side. Like uh, some of us uh, may say, just how can we solve uh, the problem? Uh, and the other team member may have its own uh, view of the problem. So we shared that view, uh, and uh, we evaluated. Like uh, we are a group of three. So if we have three different ideas, uh, and uh, choosing from this may be uh, a good idea uh, instead of uh, being able to make it uh, in ourselves because uh, some of uh, have different experience on different work so uh, it will be easy for us uh, when we collaborate and do things instead of uh, being alone does it answer your question fair enough uh, that's all. Thanks. Okay. Yvonne? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. So I have two questions. One, you have talked about collaboration. How do you collaborate with people of different personalities? It is a bit challenging to collaborate when it comes to personalities. So if you have an answer to that i would highly appreciate and to my second question um wow it has disappeared answer that as i try to remember the other one sorry please kindly fine uh, like you said uh, uh as i said i have I, i'm a, a part of some community so uh, we we have different background uh, on that community like uh, there are uh, learners uh, you can think of that some of us are learners some of us are fellows that have finished the program and uh, some of the staff members of 
that uh, uh, institution and others uh, also engaged in this process uh, that uh, know how to use the Metoshama guidelines. So, uh, as I as I mentioned, we are we have different background and different personality, but uh, the the thing we gather is to solve a specific problem suggested by the seeker. So, uh, for example, uh, the seeker may uh, raise the, today's project like how can we integrate uh, LLM and uh, LLM query with Redash. So we all have to focus and uh, try to solve uh, that specific problem, not anything. So, uh, and we will be suggested by the alchemist, the problem solving met methodology. So if we have to come up with, we if we have to use the crazy eight, we all use the crazy eight. So uh, we have same problem solving methodology uh, and same problem in same time so it will be easy to collaborate uh, when we uh, narrow things i think this answers your question right that's that's okay my second question is how do you um you know about creativity blockers right when you feel like you are blocked from being creative and thinking straight. So how do you get rid of that? Because that's a really big issue out here. You're trying to be creative, but you, you really can't think. So how, 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 do you, how do you get rid of that? Okay, fine. Like uh, to increase your creativity, there are ways, uh, maybe the problem solving methodology you have choose also have impact L let me give you an example if you uh, i'm not sure about the name but if you choose a brain work methodology uh, you start to idea from what you are watching around you uh, if you are uh, for that specific problem so um for example i'm watching my uh, phone and my dongle right now so by uh, from these things, I start to I relate them with the problem, uh, uh, and maybe they're uh, maybe drawing on your world. So watching that may give you some creativity to your mind uh, to solve that problem. I think uh, discovering different solving uh, problem solving methodologies also uh, crucial. Uh, for our creativity like when you see create uh, the crazy like you have to come up with the crazy ideas that even not been realistic somehow but i have exercised it and it sometimes may be a good one to solve your problem instead of brainstorming or like thinking about uh real ideas uh, it's maybe best to think about the crazy ones. So even uh, some of us uh, who uh, have a good background about this problem solving methodologies, if they run uh, a situation like this, maybe uh, it will be good uh, for us too. And so uh, it depends on the problem solving methodology you are following, I, I think. Okay, okay, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, is there anyone who have a question? Too? So, this is all about what I have. I think we are done. Pascal.
Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mubarak. We don't have any other question. Okay, I guess um, all other questions have been asked. Really, uh, we appreciate you, Mubarak, taking time to just think what can help us during this moment where we are having ongoing complex group projects going on. I believe uh, the, the concept is really going to help us to know how we can successfully um, keep working together and succeeding into all these projects. So thank you so much. This was very thoughtful. Uh, and thank you everyone for joining. See you in the upcoming CBS. I can't wait to have a Friday uh, fun time with you all. So yeah, thank you. See you next time during another session like this. The list will be provided uh, after exactly this session. So you will get to know the date when you will be presenting. And from now going on, we will be having two people presenting during the trainee-led conversation because we realize that we have limited time and uh, compared to the number of trainees we currently have. So next time you'll be presenting in a group of two people, and I believe that it's going to be uh, more fun and more interesting during the presentation and also during the delivery. So yeah. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great afternoon. See you shortly in like an hour and a half on Slack in our community building session. See you all.